Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. So, in this part we'll be starting the Breen Invasion arc. Uh, because technically speaking we're not supposed to finish off yesterday's war until after we do the Solanate Dyson Sphere. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and start with Cold Call. And this character doesn't have any voice acting. Okay. Uh, I was quite impressed with the successful outcome of the recent trade negotiations at Starbase 39 Sierra and I am pleased to invite the Federation to send an envoy to the Defera system for a more formal meeting. This could be a great opportunity for both of our peoples. The Federation has requested an alliance with us on several occasions, but my people's adherence to balance has prevented it. Now that there are, or now they are more open to the idea of ties with other worlds, perhaps your visit will be the start of a lasting friendship between our peoples. And I'm just going to pay the trans warp over there. Because then I have to fly to the border of this quadrant and then fly roughly towards the center of the alpha quadrant. Well, a little past the center. And begin cold call. We've arrived at the Deferra system, sir. Performing standard sensor sweeps now. Sir, some of this debris is only days old, but there have been no reports from the Deferi of accidents or combat in this area. I don't like the looks of this. I recommend that we proceed with caution. The Jessica is standing by for the approach to Deferra, sir. Shall we begin our escort? Yep. Welcome to Defera. May you be blessed with balance. We appreciate the Federation's willingness to meet us in these trying times. That's all he's going to say. We don't have the ability to even ask him what the hell is going on with the, de the debris that's apparently only days old in some cases. Guy actually moves fairly quickly. I either have to have it with the screen shaking or I have to go slightly slower than him. So we're picking up an approaching warp signal, attempting to identify it now. But we can't actually engage it. But it is the brain. Sir, the ship was running a subspace jammer, so we weren't able to get a lock on it before it warped out. I am, however, picking up a residual warp signature, and we might learn more from a detailed scan. Not enough here to get a lock on the warp trail. The ship is using jamming technology. Yes, yes, we already knew it was using jamming technology. Before we scanned the um, residual warp particles, and they're just gonna fly straight through the debris. Um, we're almost there. Greetings, Jessica Escort Ship Odin. We are required to identify your credentials and verify you are, in fact, the correct ship prior to granting you access to Defera. Please submit to a scan at this time. Understood. Do you require assistance? No assistance is required at this time, Odin. Thanks for your cooperation. Our scans are complete. Please provide us with your clearance code before you establish orbit around Defera. Technically, we're actually not that far off from orbit, whatever. 
Our deferred access code is 946W2QO, or well, QOS, or is it supposed to be a zero? Who knows? We'll see. Actually, no, we won't because it doesn't really matter. Thank you for the protection and escort. Your diligence and readiness does you credit. Perhaps later we will be able to learn more about that strange ship. It's not a strange ship, it's the Breen. For now, let us focus the possibility of trade and diplomacy between our peoples. My attache will send you the planetary coordinates for transport. These coordinates will take you to one of our famous historical parks and preservation sites. I hope that you enjoy your visit to Defera. When you are ready to talk, please meet me on the steps of the historic tower. It will be across the park, past the monument when you arrive. I've received planetary coordinates from the Jessica. Are you ready to beam down, sir? Yes, we are. I mean, sure, our character hasn't seen the Breen before, but uh, in theory, they would have studied the Breen back at the Academy. You know, what with the whole Dominion War thing and the Breen attacking Earth at one point. So, yeah. Theoretically, we could just walk around. Um, I don't think any of these people actually say anything, so you're not going to hear anything. But you could take the long way around if you wanted to, but we're not going to. There's no point. So, Ambassador Sarah. Welcome to Defera, honored visitor. This site is the oldest continually inhabited site on my world, and as such, we find it to be the most ideal place to welcome visitors. Tell me about the Deferi. We have an old culture steeped in tradition and respect for all beings. The makers taught us the concept of balance and we strive for it in all things. For more than a century, we have remained neutral in our dealings with other worlds. For there is balance, so also there is truth. Or, well, for where there is balance, also there is truth. We are now looking to expand. Our population is growing to a point where we will put a strain on our world's resources. To correct this imbalance, a portion of our people have volunteered to seek new homes among the stars. This, of course, has put us into greater contacts with beings such as yourself, and we welcome the new ideas and technology that you have to offer. Perhaps by looking inward for so long, we have become out of balance with the galaxy as a whole. I look forward to your helping in correcting this. Tell me about the ruins to the east of here. We believe that the site to the east of here was once used by the preservers because we have located several artifacts that appear to correspond with their technology. Although we do not know for certain, it is our belief that the Fury were one of the races seated throughout the quadrant by the preservers. They, like us, revered balance and saw life as sacred. They went to great lengths to preserve all life. Okay, can you explain me explain to me more about balance? Everything must be in balance. When one side is dominant over the other, the inequality breeds resentment. The resentment leads to hatred and misunderstanding. On our world, there is equality in everything. All major decisions are made by polling the populace so that a small group of leaders will not have power over the whole. Persons in what can be deemed leadership positions like myself serve at the pleasure of our people. If we abuse our positions, there will be imbalance and we will be removed. Okay, what can you tell me about the preservers? The Preservers were an Asian race that died out eons ago but made a great impact on the galaxy in their time. The Preservers would transplant members of races that were threatened by extinction to worlds where they could thrive. The planet Amarind was settled by them, and they brought ancient Terrans there to create a new community. For many years, scientists theorized that the Preservers were responsible for the spread of humanoids across the galaxy. We now know that the Preservers not only transplanted communities, but also created them. The Preservers believed they were alone in the galaxy. In the hopes of creating an ecosystem of races like themselves, they seeded their genetic material on other planets. In this way, they gave their children the companions that they never had. Sir, sensors from the Odin are picking up Breen transporter signals. Get ready, sir. They could be hostile. It's the Breen. They're always hostile.
Wow, got really lucky that apparently I got the knockdown thing twice with him in a row. Because, I mean, that doesn't normally happen. You know what, actually, we're going to let me go the other way. We're going to work our way sort of counterclockwise. It's a little bit more efficient because we're going to have to go to the ruins anyway, so we might as well. Actually, I guess technically our character has seen bean ships, now that I remember. Last mission we had to go and deal with some stuff during the Breen invasion of Earth. So, technically yes, our character has seen Breen ships. So I don't know why it's like, oh, it's a unusual ship. We don't know what it is. I mean, the Breen haven't changed their ship designs. You know, unlike the Federation, which has actual, like, eras for its ship designs. The Breen seem to be stuck with one look, and there's literally no change whatsoever. Like, not even minor looking changes. And basically all their ships look the same. They're just scaled up. Yep. Oh, damn it. I'm not sure if that was a knockback from one of their weapons or if they one of them threw a grenade and for whatever reason after victory's life I don't always get the circle for AoE attacks. Unless I'm like zoomed out all the way. And even then it doesn't always seem to show up. Which is actually kind of annoying. Okay, wow, jeez. Again, real lucky with him. Got the knockdown twice in a row. Now we'll go down to the ruins. Okay, you guys are following me. There we go. Took a little while for the game to realize that that guy up there was dead. group to deal with that's actually up over here let's go take care of the scientist first he has shields bioengineer that seemed a little confused as to what he wanted to do. I think one of our guys he's disarmed him or whatever or did a weapons malfunction ability but for whatever reason he decided to oh my weapons malfunctioning I can't put down a turret. Okay we broke through Federation defenses and attacked your home world who ruined your fleets during the war. You should know better than to oppose us, Starfleet. We will wrest the Preserver secrets from this place, and we will destroy anyone who attempts to stop us. And you're all gonna die because you all decided to stand still when a grenade got thrown at you. You don't do that shit for my main. Interestingly enough. The AI does seem to move when it realizes, oh crap, there's a big red circle around me. I should probably get out of here. It tends to actually move out of the way. These guys, not so much. They just kind of stand there like, what do we do? 
Obviously, it is not safe for me to remain here given the threat of further attacks. What now? I shall turn to the Jessica for now, my friend. I believe it will be of best use there. Yes, on a ship. I don't think that's quite how it works. Sir, there are more ships warping in. We need to... Or we need you and the away team back on the ship, sir. Prepare for emergency transport. Do you guys really need me? Or do you just not understand how to actually do things? Sir, the Breen are attacking the Jessica. We should intervene before they are overwhelmed. Yes, we should. Although I don't think the Jessica can actually be destroyed. I think it can be brought down to zero health, but nothing actually happens to it. Come on, fire the... yeah, there we go. I don't know, keep dealing with this one. And fire. And you're down. Oh, put one more to deal with. We got stuck on a rock. Oh, it has fighters. Of course it does. Um, we're just gonna push everything away. You got kind of tough shields, dude. I sadly don't really have a way of quickly dealing with them. One of those would knock out his shield and the others would actually hit his hull, but apparently that wasn't going to happen. There we go. Now get out of there before it explodes. Okay, Jessica, how you doing? Sir, the Breen don't attack at random. I'd say that there is more going on here than the Deferi are telling us. You don't say. We're being hailed by the Jessica, sir. Shall I put it on screen? Yes. Thank you for the assist, Odin. We took some damage, but it's nothing that a few days in space stock won't fix. My friend, I have not com I have not been completely honest with you. I fear my actions are out of balance with the universe. I think we should speak face to face. Do I have your permission to come aboard the USS Odin? Permission granted. Let's see what the ambassador has to say. Because he's got a bit of explaining to do. If it'll load. Sometimes loading maps takes forever. I think it's ones that typically don't get used often that seem to take forever. So things like the inside of your ship those seem to take forever because you're not always in it.
Although I don't even think this is actually the observation lounge for my ship because I don't think uh, you can actually visit the observation lounge on your ship. But let's talk to Ambassador Seurat. Honorable ally, I apologize for my secrecy, but at the time it was the best choice of action, or best course of action. This is not the first time that the Breen have attacked Deferra. Their aggression has increased in recent weeks, and we've been unable to either stop them or open a diplomatic dialogue. The Federation has always promised to be our ally in a time of need, while we prefer to remain neutral in your conflicts. We have looked favorably upon the Federation's actions. You seek to maintain peace and stability throughout the Alpha Quadrant. Now we are in need of your help. The Breen are attacking our ships and colonies without provocation. Hundreds have already died, and I fear that more lives will be lost unless we have your assistance. My, people's fa or my people face destruction. I cannot believe that the balance of the universe requires us to die. Um, okay, so I have one new option. I'll be in contact with you again. I can only hope that it... That your efforts will tie the ba or tip the balance in our favor. If there is anything else you would ask of me, or if you need greater understanding of my people, please do not hesitate to ask. What could the Breen want to the ruins? The Breen could share our belief that the ruins are the remains of a preserver installation. The preservers are powerful. If the Breen gained access to their knowledge or technology, they might be able to use it to shift the balance of power in the quadrant. Our archaeologists have been studying those ruins for decades. If there is anything there that the Breen could use, we have not found it. We're done for today, Ambassador. Ambassador Sarah safely returned to the Jessica, sir, and he requests that we contact him once we have left the system. We're ready to depart on your orders. Well, let's get out of here. means I need to, I guess, beam to the bridge. Okay, Ambassador Sarah. You are a friend to the Defiri. We will speak again, and it is my honest, or my fondest hope, that you will be able to repair the balance and save my people from the Breen. Then we can have a long-lasting and peaceful alliance. We will speak again soon. I'll take your deflector dish, though. I don't really care for the cryo grenades. I think it's only a single cryo grenade. Do I want to use this one over the Jem'Hadar one? The Jem'Hadar one that doesn't have a visual effect either. Um. It's honestly not really better surprisingly so yeah we're just sort of gonna leave it but that'll be it for this part I will see you all in the next part what when the hell did they release a freighter ship that you could actually fly yeah it's, yeah, it's not showing that they have like a hologram or anything. Okay! Ah, uh, I never realized it was a freighter that you could fly. Interesting. Whatever. But yeah, so that'll be it for this part. I'll see you all in the next part. Quick reminder that I do have a Patreon. Link to that down in the description if you wish to become one. It does help the channel out, even if only a handful of people do it at $1 a month. It adds up over time. Uh, I also have a Discord link down in the description as well if you wish to join it. But I'll see you all in the next part where we will do uh, uh, Out in the Cold. Where we will be searching for a lost ship. We will uncover a plot to enslave the Deferi people. It's actually a fairly short story arc. Uh, actually, these last couple of story arcs leading up to New Romulus are all fairly short. New Romulus is a bit on the longer side. And I don't remember in the slightest how these missions go. Um, and typically speaking, I don't have to do New Romulus to do Soul and a Dyson Sphere. I think some of these missions for New Romulus, if you have certain um, levels of reputation with them, 
I think you're supposed to get like special versions of the cutscenes, so we might skip over New Romulus for a little while and come back to it after I've maxed this out, which shouldn't take long because my main already has it maxed out, so I can have to make a sponsorship token for me. I just need to get the actual marks. Um, but I don't know, maybe those cutscenes you can see anyway once you hit certain reputation tiers. I'm not 100% sure. So if anybody knows the answer to that, feel free to leave a comment letting me know as to how that works. Because uh, I'm not 100% sure which way it works. If it's a... Uh, you need to have that tier when you finish them. When you get to that cutscene to see it or if you can... Or if it's the same cutscene you'll see later once you hit that tier. I don't know. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment letting me know as to how it works if you do know. Uh, but otherwise, like I said, we might skip over New Romulus while I work to max out that reputation, which again, shouldn't take very long. But yes, that'll be it for this part. I'll see you all in the next one. But until then, a goodbye and farewell.